Good morning, people. Do you ever have those mornings where you wake up and you're just super energized and you gotta go do something? I would planned on staying home today, but I woke up at 5.50 and said, screw it, we're going out. So it's not gonna be super uh, cold today. I guess I'll just kind of explore the river in the beginning of the day, let things heat up for fishing, and then I'll go claim a spot. So this will come as a shock to some of you, not all of you, but the ones that, uh, watch my channel enough and have seen last year's Decker's videos, you may notice I am not starting in the same spot that I usually do. I decided to explore a different area of the river. And what I think I figured out is another deep, slow moving pool that I can maybe target. It is not warm, guys. My hands are cold and I have gloves on. My hands will never get cold. It all looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna tie up. What I chose was a desert storm that I tied, a miracle nymph, and then the path. I've got a couple weights on here, a couple AB shot. Wow, it is frigid, man. My line is completely iced up. So that wasn't the spot that I was eyeballing. There's another one around the corner here that I was really looking at. I'm getting the right drift. I think the weight of the line with the ice on it is now causing my bugs to get swooped faster than the actual indicator. So the indicator is moving at the right speed, but everything else is moving faster. Because once you get to the end of the run, you notice that all of the line is swooped under. I think this is pretty much shot until the sun comes up. I can definitely put like a chapstick or something on the line, but the problem is down here with the bugs. I mean, all the bugs are freezing up. Even if I was to try to catch a fish, the hook and the gap is all closed up. I mean, I don't know how you avoid that, honestly. I think that's very workable. Just not right now. So I just moved up river and we're gonna play around here because this is actually one of the more popular spots. I don't know why, but I just wanna cast a few in this area. It's not as cold as it was, still cold, but not as cold. That's unfortunate. Already getting a snag here. I've been in this spot since I lost that big brown trout on a dry fly, Amy's aunt. Check out that video here. Doink! Let's go, baby. Let's go. Catch me a fish, midges. Oh! There's definitely a rock. There's a rock in the river right here. It's a little more exposed in the winter time because the flows are down. So that's what I want to fish. It's kind of all around it. I'll show you how I break down this piece of water right here. So I'm going to cast right here in front of the rock. And I'm kind of judging depth. And I'm also judging weight. I think the weight's fine. Oh, there was one right there and I missed him. Oh, I might have missed my shot on that fish. Hopefully not. Oh! Winter time, we practice setting on everything because the light bites are gonna be the ones where you could catch a fish. But if you don't set the hook on everything, I mean, the, just the takes from these fish are so subtle.
Hello. Mommer. That one came off. He was wrapping up the line pretty good. He just popped off there. Guys, my GoPro died, but I set out a goal. I'm going to catch a fish on one of the flies that I tied, and I just did it. I can see the pheasant tail nymph, and it looks like he took the miracle midge. Check this fish out. Good old miracle midge. Hell yeah, baby. First fish caught on my fly. All right. That feels good. I've never fished here before, but I look at it all the time and I think like, man, looks like some deep, good water. It's not, it's dark because there's vegetation in it, but it is definitely not deep water shallow right here it's definitely a shelf but it is not as deep as I hoped it would be well I haven't hooked into anything yet But hopefully that will change. Kind of a pool right before this run here. Let's search this for some fish. Well guys, that's about all she wrote for today. We caught three fish, two almost made it in the net, and one did. I apologize for kind of the, the crappy catches on this video. Did catch my first fish on my own handmade fly. So that was pretty cool. And it was a decent little cup of So, had a good day overall. Kind of wish that I would have caught more, but you can't be picky. Deckers can be tough to fish and catch in, you know, even three is pretty good. Um, one of them was, was a pretty good sized fish um, that, that just kind of pulled the hook out right at the last minute there. So anyway, hope you guys have a good day and we'll catch you next time on CO Fish Bro. So thanks for checking out the channel. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, go ahead and click this free subscribe button right here. You can also check out our next video over there or our most recent uploads just above my head. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time on CO Fish Bro.